Okay, 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 okay. It's my birthday, ayy. It's my birthday, ayy. Mama get old, honey. Listen, mama is 39 and so goddamn fine. I know. I know. You don't even have to tell me. I already know. <laughs> all right, all right. Tell me in the comments. It's fine. It's fine. Send the love. Send me some love in the comments, guys. As you know, I told you I have a huge announcement for you this week. This video is going to be short and sweet. You know a mother can talk to you forever. But I wanted to share with you this huge announcement. As you know, mother is a huge fan of loving yourself taking care of yourself and taking care of yourself can be in several different capacities you know watching your figure can be in many different capacities it could be I'm going to the gym check um I am going to the dermatologist to the dentist um getting my regular mammograms and such um you know I have hyperthyroidism making sure I stay on top of my health check making sure that I eat healthy right and make the best choices I can right without depriving myself you guys know I always say moderation over deprivation right no need to deprive ourselves right check however you know mother is also a fan of getting a tune-up every now and then and I'm now 39 and I feel like this is the perfect time for a tune-up so as you guys know 2009 I had my lap band I was 350 pounds I went down to 275 and then with the lap band I lost about um, 110 pounds around that point and then I decided in 2011 after losing 110 pounds to have my first elected cosmetic surgery which I had a breast lift with implants, upper and lower back lipo, and a full hip to hip tummy tuck. Okay, then round two, um, or round 1A if you will, I decided to upgrade my implants because I went back to the gym too quickly um, and one of my implants kind of dropped and so when they had to fix it, I was like, well just go in there and upgrade it again, why not, right? And so they did that. So that was like round 1A, that was like six months later. And then, um, I had my baby in 2014, the love of my life, right? But then after that, I needed to get a little bit of a nip tuck, right? So 2018, I went to the Dominican Republic and I had um, a procedure done. I had quite a few procedures. I had an arm lift, I had um, inner thigh lipo, I had 360 lipo and a BBL. Okay, so now we are in 2022 and I am at the point now where it's time for a little more. So um, please don't ask me when it's going to be my last time because I will continue to do it as often as I want because um, I work hard, I'm a single parent, I have my own job, I also have a brand that I'm continuing to grow and I love you guys for watching. Um, I will never feel the need to have to justify any of my actions, but I just want to put that here right now because don't come in the comments with anything negative because she will be blocked, okay? It's never going to be over for me because keep in mind, I wasn't someone that might have been maybe 10 pounds overweight and needed to lose weight and then I said, okay, well, you know what? Maybe I'll have some lipo. I am someone who, if you can visualize, was 350 pounds, okay? Um, and so when you come down that much, there's always going to be some things that are kind of sagging from here in, in a certain areas. And for me, um, you know, I have not, my the way my body is, um, I don't have that type of elasticity. I see sometimes when I used to watch The Biggest Loser, is that still on? I don't even know if it is. But when I used to watch The Biggest Loser, I would see some people lose so much weight and they just look so great. And I'm like, oh my God, I didn't have that. Because when I lost all this weight, like I had a lot of hanging skin. Even, for example, I've had my arm lift, but you can see like I still have, it's much better than it used to be. But when I do this, you can see, right? I still have... Um, a little bit of, of hanging skin there. Now, there's certain things it's never going to be perfect, right? But um, this round, we are going to be, the theme is Project Look Good Naked, okay? Because I do look good in my clothes, but there are some things that need to be fixed, um, especially with my BBL. 
I had a lot of dimples and we're gonna talk about that in the series that we're starting which is the whole point of this video I am gonna be starting a series but um, I decided with this round this is the first round that I'm doing as a YouTube creator and I feel that a large part of a lot of the decisions I've made is because of people sharing their journey and as I told you guys, I'm never going to be that creator that will say, oh, you can just lose weight naturally or you can just. And yes, I am throwing shade because I do know people like this. OK, um, you know, you can lose weight with this coffee or um, lose weight with this pill. And I know them personally. And I know. <laughs> Sis, I know you had surgery. Why are you letting your followers believe that if they buy these little dry ass gummies that they're going to lose 150 pounds like you did? No. If they reach out to your surgeon and also make the lifestyle changes you make, then yes, they will get that. Or maybe if they use the gummies post bariatric surgery like you did, they will have the type of success you have. But don't lead them astray. And you know, sis will never lead you astray. I'm always going to tell you guys all of the details so this time around i'm really excited because i'm going to share with you from making like how i make the decision on the surgeon of choice right the reasoning behind it i'll even do price comparison i'm not sure yet if i'm going to share um fully the names of some of these surgeons because some of their prices i've already started of course are so absolutely the, the range, the numbers range. And I'm not sure if I want to share that just, I'm not sure if I'm gonna share their names. Share in the comments what you would like to see, but what I would love to hear from you in this video is in the comments, drop some questions that you would like to know about plastic surgery because I'm gonna do my best to include them in all of the pieces of content. This is going to be a 10 to 12 part series. I am taking you through all of the details. So. Are you wondering about, oh, how do you make a decision? How are you able to figure out which surgeon to go with? Follow and hit your notifications button because I will be sharing that. How do you know, price? Do, do you make a decision based off of just price? Or what are the different criteria that you put to paper? Because I did actually have a full, full chart of here are the questions that I'm looking to get answered. Here's what I'm looking for. And this is how I'm gonna make my decision. If you wanna hear what my process was, make sure you follow and hit the notifications button if you want to know about okay now that you've made the decision like what are the next steps who else do you have to hire do you need a nurse do you do airbnb do you do a hotel how did you stay in budget how do you determine which ones which areas you can splurge on versus like surgeon airport um nurse transportation or which parts you should you can like kind of cut down on the budget a little bit right um, even post-op care, we'll be talking about that. Um, Fajas, we will be talking about that. How to use your Fajas, the best brand that I've chosen, um, which I haven't purchased my Fajas yet, of course, because um, especially stage two, that's the biggest one. I'm gonna take you through all of that. By the time you're done watching this series, you should know exactly what steps. Now, I'm not saying you should use my surgeon that I choose, but you will know exactly what steps you need to have the best experience possible for you, all right? And of course, you make the final decision. I am not Bible, I'm not the, the blueprint, but I'm going to share with you what my proverbial bl blueprint looks like. So if you are interested in hearing more about that and you have some questions that you really wanna know, please drop it in the comments. If you don't feel comfortable dropping it in the comments, that's okay. Head on over to Instagram. Make sure you DM me because if your question is there, I will answer it and I will not share your name. I will just make sure I include it in a specific um, part of our series, but we will be going all the way up to six months post-op. So it might end up being, that's why I said 10 to 12, because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the hotel of choice or the Airbnb of choice, the Fajas, um, the vitamins I'm taking in preparation for, um, the overall bedside manner and experience of my surgeon, I will be sharing that. I appreciate you so much for watching. Make sure you share this video because I promise you, if you've watched at least one of my videos, you know I give detail, detail, and detail. So be ready for this journey. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I appreciate you so much for watching. Stay tuned because in a couple weeks we will have episode one. Have a great day, guys. Show me some birthday love in the comments. You know mother is 39. Oh my God, I'm almost 40. Eee! 
No, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. As always, we love you, we love you, we love you. Until next time.